My oh my, it is a big day for Modern Warfare 3, for Warzone, for zombies, because today we not only, as you are seeing on screen here, got the trailer for season one, we also got all of the information as to everything that is coming within season one of Modern Warfare 3, zombies and Warzone. And in this video, we're going to be going over all of it. As far as the trailer goes, there's a couple things that you may have missed. The swarm drone is making a return. There's some crazy things going on with zombies, but I had my initial reaction to it over on my second channel, which will be linked down in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, but as far as what happens in this trailer, we get to see all of the maps, all of the zombies, all of the Warzone content, but it doesn't nearly cover everything that is coming to the game we have battle pass updates we have crazy things coming to zombies we have new maps new weapons new characters and way way more and in this video we are going to be going over everything that is coming within season one but before we do let me first tell you about today's video sponsor so if you're a fan of the channel i know you like video games specifically first person shooter video games that is why today's video is sponsored by enlisted enlisted is a new kind of first person shooter that uniquely couples pvp with pve combat where you can take command of a squad of customizable ai soldiers and fight in massive battles with hundreds of targets enlisted has multiple campaigns from the outskirts of moscow in 1941 to the heart of berlin in 1945 and to make things even better it is free now on pc xbox and playstation the enlisted campaigns are varied so each individual mission feels more like an individual game in and of itself it's approachable for all audiences and it's hardcore where it matters there are over 100 different weapons tanks and aircrafts and unique soldier classes ranging from riflemen with bolt action rifles to smg wielding engineers who can build anti-tank fortification my personal favorite thing of the game is it's stylized for world war ii but on top of that the graphics look absolutely amazing bringing you right into the game so check out enlisted right now click that link down in the description it is free on pc xbox and playstation and if you use my link down in the description you get a free bonus pack with multiple weapons soldiers and a premium account as well so check them out link down below and thank you enlisted for sponsoring the video so here we go this is the season one blog post this is the season one roadmap and as you can see it is a big one. So let's just dive into the roadmap right away, and then we'll go in and break things down a little bit more. Starting off with Warzone, we have the new map, which is, of course, Years Extend, the drivable train and horizontal zip lines, which are kind of like new gameplay features. Also, the returning maps of Vondel and Ashika Island. They're making a return in Warzone once again. We also, on top of this, have big game bounty contracts making a return, quality of life updates. We're going to dive a little bit more into that later. The new Gulag, the fly by a public event again dive into that more the new champions quest the way that it's going to work is a little bit different and modes we have resurgence battle royale and plunder moving next to modern warfare 3 this is where we get into multiplayer zombies things along those lines we first of all have our new maps of meet greece rio and training facility ranked play making a return in season as well as vortex as well as our new modes which we have gunfight and all or nothing coming right at launch and then in season we have headquarters team gunfight and infected then moving over to the zombie side of things, we have new locations, which is in season called Satan's Quarry in season. Also in season, we have Tetanus and Sporeyard. We'll dive more into those in a minute. We have new story missions coming, Dark Ether Rifts, which look absolutely insane. The VR-11 Wonder Weapon, new schematics, prestige challenges, and finally the new warlord which is going to be kind of like the new mercenary boss who is also going to be a playable operator as well now weapons operators and more we have our xrk stalker which is a sniper rifle a part of the battle pass the ram 7 also a part of the battle pass the storm ender which is also a part of the battle pass and then in season we have two new weapons tack evolver and then the hrm9 Moving over to the operators, we have Nolan and the other one, which I am not even going to try to say, Doka B. I, apparently, I did try to say it. We also have the Abolisher, who is part of the Black Cell. In season, we have Satan's Slayground, which is the new holiday event. We also have the Dune Part 2 event and the boys coming as well. There's also rumors of a walking dead one coming too but that's the overview let's dive deeper into it starting out with multiplayer specifically our four new maps we have meat this is a very small map just have a look at the map it is very very tiny i wouldn't say as small as shipment but a very small map nonetheless and we have greece this is a much bigger map again a 6v6 map i really love what they've done with the colors in these 
Then we have Rio, which is again a 6v6 map, as you can see here, a centralized mall area, as well as your outdoor area around the edges. Then we have our very small map, which is training facility. It's our 2v2 gunfight map. And that is pretty much it. That is when we get into the mode. So gunfight is returning once again. That is your 2v2 mode. That is the map that we saw. We're also going to be getting gameplay on other things like shipment and things like that, other small maps. We also have All or Nothing. This is a game mode, a party game mode, kind of like gun game, things along those lines. We have seen this before. And it's first to land 20 eliminations wins in this. Multiplayer, we're getting more at the mid-season. We uh, fan favorite holiday themed variants. I'm guessing that is going to be shipment, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. I'm hoping they do something with Rust instead, but we'll have to wait to see. So I was actually wrong about something. I thought Vortex was a zombies thing going on in the mid season. It turns out that Vortex is actually a multiplayer mode where one player holds the ray gun. Your job is to eliminate them. Their job is to kill you and get points. We're also getting other multiplayer maps, including Satan's Quarry, Sporeyard, and Tetanus. These are all going to be a part of the Vortex playlist. So they are just in that for now. I'm not sure whether they're adding them to the full multiplayer. We also have Codmus, aka Santa Slayground. This is a mid-season event. As you can see here, we have Zombie Santa coming to the game, which is pretty cool. Also, we are getting infected mid-season as well. By the way, not all of this is on the roadmap, which I find pretty cool. Also, Headquarters is coming as well, and Team Gunfight, which is always fun. Another new one, which is not on the roadmap, we have new perks. So first off, we have the Assassin's Vest. This is going to give you two equipment slots, which is going to be your tactical and lethal. It's going to give you three slots, which is gloves, boots, and gear. Now, what this vest does is kills don't display skulls. You're immune to UAV and enemy radar effects. That is insane. And then weirdly, if you have Ghost on, you are also going to get the effects of Hijacked, which is super interesting. I see this vest being incredibly, incredibly strong because with it, you can still use, use gloves, boots, and gear. So, of course, covert boots with this will be probably be best, but I think this is going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful. We are also getting a new kill streak. This one is really, really cool. First off, we have the 15 kill streak, which is, of course, the swarm. But then also we are getting the 13 kill streak, which is the EMP. And I have to say that EMP looks absolutely amazing in the background there. These are both very high score streaks. I'm very curious to see how good they are in game, but I've been wanting something like this since the launch. So good on them for putting it out. Also, mid-season ranked play is coming out. I'm not going to go too far in depth with that one, but that pretty much summarizes everything with multiplayer. Next, we move into zombies. Zombies is big here. So first off, we have a new story act. So we're going to get act four at the launch of season one, which is pretty cool. We're also getting dark ether rifts. They call these a new labyrinth. Basically, the way that these rifts are going to work is you have to find sigils to unlock dark ether rifts and earn rewards on completion. So they're going to be powerful. I'm assuming they're either tier three or tier four zombies that you're going to be fighting against. There's also the new wonder weapon, which is the VR 11 and new warlord. So that is your mercenary boss, as we talked about before, as we mentioned, the new story act, and it appears like the ether worm is going to be making a return, but this time in ether rifts, which is going to be super interesting. It also goes in more depth here with the ether rifts. It says specifically, once you enter the rift, you are going to have 30 minutes to complete a series of increasingly chaotic objectives. This is going to be interesting because it sounds like it's going to be very difficult solo, but I'm wondering if it's doable. We also have the new wonder weapon, as we mentioned before. This is the VR 11. This one's pretty cool. So then we have new schematics. The first one is a dog bone. This is consume the dog bone to summon the strongest friendly hellhound companion. This one is going to be very, very good if you play as solo. Then we have golden armor plates. Consuming the golden armor plate replaces your armor carrier with plates that automatically repair over time, in addition to providing the user with additional damage resistance. So again, very powerful. Also, the ether blade. The ether blade is a special throwing knife with infinite ammo and a boomerang-like combat style. After striking an enemy, the ether blade locates to the next nearest enemy to hit them before returning to the operator. Again, that sounds really cool and very, very powerful. I'm really looking forward to all of those things. They should add an amazing, they should add a really cool gameplay style to the game, especially that Ether Blade. We also have our new warlord called Dokabi. Probably saying that wrong. This is, of course, a new mercenary operator who you have to take out. 
and that is pretty straightforward. The one that it doesn't really explain very well is the rift run. I, I'm assuming that has to do with the Easter egg you need to complete to enter a rift, which we'll have to wait to see what that is till it launches. So then we get into Warzone. Now we do kind of have this roadmap for Warzone as well, but it goes in further and breaks it down. First of all, we have the deep dive into the Warzone map, which looks really, really cool. Um, also, I really love the art that they put with this as well. First of all, we have Yurzikstan. The modes that are coming with Yurzikstan include Battle Royale, Resurgence, and Plunder. So we should be pretty used to this map. If you've played Zombies, you know what's coming here. We also have Vondal, which is making a return, as well as Ashika Island as well. As far as the updated gameplay go, we have movement mechanics. This is kind of like the main thing. So the things that they're adding are slide cancel, tack stance, ADS while sliding, uh, running while reloading, a slight movement boost after you use the stim and additional changes will be in the upcoming patch notes, which are not here yet. Now, there are some new gameplay updates as well. The first one we have is a backup pistol. So even if you don't have a pistol on your loadout, you are always going to have a pistol on you when you are swimming, climbing ladders or hanging off of a ledge, even if it's not in your loadout. Improved water combat alongside the dedicated pistol. Improvements have been made to water visibility such that it is now easier to see targets both when in and out of water. Manual gas mask. I've talked about this one on the channel. You can actually toggle your gas mask on or off so it doesn't just automatically go on when you go into gas, which was always super annoying. Uh, experimental gas grenades. These are in multiplayer. I shouldn't need to explain that one. Uh, dedicated ammo slots. So specific new backpack slots cater to ammo. So instead of having to take up your backpack slots for ammunition, there is now dedicated slots for that. Loot rarity is making a return. So you may remember in the original Warzone how we had like green, blue, uh, gold weapons, things along those lines based off of the amount of attachments on them that you find on the ground. This is once again back as well. Contract activation are now laptops instead of phones, making them easier to see. Updated tack map icons. The entirety of the tack map has been updated to better serve you with a variety of easily distinguishable icons. So in other words, new icons, classic red dots. This is great. The classic mini map will now return. So suppressors are now way, way better within Warzone. Uh, improved loot system. Players will now notice that the loot distribution and spread uh, when opening supply boxes or eliminating an enemy player has received improvement. So it kind of spreads out more easier to pick up actually what you want and quality of life carryover from the previous updates that they made to the game, which is awesome. We also have a drivable train. In other words, it's a train that you can change the direction of. We also have horizontal zip lines. This will be great from getting from roof to roof. It'll be interesting to see how that affects the, the gameplay. We also have the new vehicle called the Coyote. It is the one that you see here. It's a fast moving vehicle. Um, we also have returning contract, new public events, and updated strongholds. So big game bounty contracts are coming in. We also have the flyby public event. This is a new public event that arrives in Yurzikstan where there is a chance that multiple drones will fly in and drop additional buy stations into war zone. So as you can see, I believe that is what's going on there or someone's called in a swarm. I'm not 100% sure. And then updated strongholds. In order to make each match unique, strongholds have now been moved to public event system where there is a percentage chance of the them becoming accessible to infiltrate during infill. So in other words, strongholds aren't always going to be there, but when they are, they're going to operate like they did before. New perks at launch. This is important. Uh, the new perk system currently in Warzone continues with operators choosing from either their preset custom perk package consisting of R4 perks, which become active once your loadout is claimed. Perk packs can also be found in in-game loot, whether dropped by an eliminated player or found in supply box. So these are kind of the perks that you are seeing here, as well as returning perks that we have seen before. Perk packages will be something that we go into a little bit more once Warzone is launched, but if you want to read through all of it, uh, you can pause it here and check it out. On top of this, we are getting a new Gulag. As you can see here, this one is very small, very straightforward, should add some very fast paced action. There are also some new things coming as well. First of all, the overtime flag is now an exfil rope that if you grab it, you will be now exiting the Gulag, which is pretty cool. Also in season, we are getting a night vision Gulag as well. It also says that in season, we are getting a new secondary exfil condition. I'm not exactly sure what that is, as well as a weapon case similar to DMZ, which is kind of cool. So they're kind of implementing DMZ into Warzone, as well as a new champion's quest, which you can actually steal from other players that you kill. 
Now we get into the things that kind of overarc the entirety of Modern Warfare 3 zombies and, of course, Warzone as well. So the first thing that we have is Krampus. He is coming back. Nobody likes him, but yes, he is coming back. We're also getting a new Christmas event, Deck the Halls, as you are seeing here. Um, there's going to be basically Christmas trees around the map, as well as Zombie Santa. And we're getting a Christmas train as well, which actually looks pretty awesome. Um, snowball fights are also making a return. That was implemented in Blackout, if anyone remembers that. Then we have our general overview. So we have our five new weapons. We have the XRK Stalker. This is a sniper rifle. We have the Ram 7, which is an assault rifle. We have the Storm Ender, which is a launcher, which looks very interesting. Uh, again, that one's a part of the battle pass. Then we have in season, we are getting armory unlocks. So these are added obviously via the armory unlock. So getting wins, completing contracts, that kind of thing. We have the HRM nine, which is an SMG. Then we have the TAC Evolver. I thought this was the TAC Eradicator, which came out yesterday, but I believe this is different than the LMG that came out yesterday. Also, we, they announced that we are getting nine aftermarket parts that will be coming in season. So assumably every single week via weekly challenges, we will be getting more aftermarket parts some of which are the ones that you can see here. I'm not going to read through all of these, um, but there's a ton of them and it seems like they are going to be good content. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. Then we get into Black Cell. So this is our first look at the Battle Pass. Uh, we can see our Black Cell here. Our main operator is Nolan and then he has his Tier 100 skin as well as Black Cell. You can see there we have the new operator. As far as the new operators in and of themselves, of course, we have Nolan and he is what you're seeing here. He is part of Cortac. The other Cortac operator is the character that we have from Zombies that we talked about before, Dokebi. Still don't know if I'm saying that right. And then we have the Abolisher, which is a part of Black Cell. Then, of course, we have our bundles as well. I'm not going to talk too much about these, but we have Santa. We have Dune uh, and as well as the boys that are coming out in season. We also have the Coherence, which is going to be our in-season camo, which is unlocked via weekly challenges. And we are also getting prestige challenges as well as the new rank up system as well, which is going to go up to level 250, just like it did with Modern Warfare 2. I don't think any of us really like this prestige system, but it is the prestige system that we are getting. Then DMZ, uh, they kind of announced that DMZ is not going to have cross progression with Modern Warfare 3. I think that's going to upset a lot of people. Uh, and then we have the CDL pack for 2024 announcement. This is kind of what they're going to look like. They look very similar to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, they talk about upgrading to Modern Warfare 3, and that is about it. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it right now. This is the biggest season we have ever received in Call of Duty. I think by a long shot. Uh, this is huge, and it seems like they're going to be adding stuff week over week with new events, with new challenges, weekly challenges. It is a lot. It is huge. And I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that kind of things. We're going to have many videos going over the new things when Warzone comes out, the multiplayer, the zombies and everything in between. There's going to be so much content. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to get your hands on the amazing free FPS enlisted, be sure to check out the first link down in the description. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars